morning at Desmond Hall, and the great house appears quiet and serene in the morning sunlight. The master of Desmond Hall, Jean-Paul Desmond, walks in the forest of the Desmond estate, hoping he has been freed from the ancient curse that has tormented him. For him, the day will pass without event, but for others, this will be a day of turmoil, a day in which a startling discovery will be made as new alliances are formed and others are broken. What did you just say? Master Court. I heard you say that Jean Paul was your master. I thought I was. I serve all Desmonds. You told me that I was going to be the master of Desmond Hall. You will be, in time. You pretend to be loyal and yet you're not. That is not true. Well, who do you serve, Jean Paul or me? I serve you both. I don't believe you, and I don't trust you. You must trust me. You will need me. You will need my help. I don't want your help. I must find a way to win him back. I must. <laughs> Jean-Paul. My master is not here. He went for a long walk. He'll be gone all morning. Did you follow me? Why do you want to see my master? I want you discharged because of your disloyalty. That is not true. I have always been loyal to the Desmonds. Maybe one at a time, but not to us all at the same time. I am loyal to you. Will I become the head of the Desmond family? Of course you will be. When? Soon. Because Jean-Paul's going to die? Yes. How will he die? I do not know. But it will happen soon. Very soon. Jean-Paul's going to be very surprised to hear that. Oh, you cannot tell him. Why not? He is a member of your family. You cannot be so cruel. I don't think telling Jean-Paul that is going to be cruel because I don't think it's going to happen. You must not tell my master. You use your omens and warnings to frighten people. And I want it to stop and I want you to leave this house. You need me. You will always need me. There are forces here that would destroy you. I can help you overcome them. There you go again, Raxel, trying to frighten me. Well, it's not going to work. You are a fool. You do not understand. I've heard enough. Get out. I, I did not mean to say that. Get out. What's going on? Arguing with the servants. Absurd, isn't it? Go, Raxel. Please. I said go. I order you to leave this room. What was that all about? I want John Paul to discharge her. Why? I don't trust her and I don't like her. For once we're in agreement, I don't trust her either. Well, I'm glad we're in agreement about something. Oh, there's something else we agree upon. We both agree we want your mother to be happy. I've always wanted that. Have you noticed the change in her? How happy she is these days? I've noticed that she's happier, yes. I am responsible for that. Oh, because you've forced yourselves to stay home for a few nights. Well, what am I supposed to do, congratulate you? I am trying my best to make your mother happy. You should try to make her happy too. You can do that by accepting me. You said you'd try. I'm trying.
Traxel. Good morning. Please tell Mr. Thaxton that I want to see him. Ah, that won't be necessary. Good morning, Laszlo. Irene. How are you? Raxel, you may go. You didn't answer my question. It's been so long. What are you doing here? I came to see you, since your visits to me have become so infrequent. Come with me. I don't believe I am. Anyone could have answered the door. Ada, Court. What am I supposed to do? Be afraid of them? Are you here to cause a scene? No. Then what do you want? I want to know where we stand. We'll talk later. I'll come to your cottage. We'll talk now. I've waited for you to come to me, but you never came. I couldn't. You know that. Afraid of what your dear wife might say? Ada has already threatened to divorce me. Oh, and you wouldn't want to lose all that lovely money. Stop it. Someone might hear you. I don't care if anyone hears me. Don't be hysterical. I'm not. I simply want to know where we stand. It's over. You say it so easily. There's no other way to say it. Were you planning to tell me? Or don't you owe me that courtesy? I told you once. And you came back. But you're not planning to come back this time, is that it? It's too dangerous. In other words, I was a convenience, but I'm no longer convenient. So we just dropped the whole thing, just like that. It never should have started. How can you say that? It's the truth. You've used me. You've used my powers. You've used the coven. The coven no longer exists. Neither does our relationship. We'll see about that. What are you doing? It's time I had a little talk with dear Ada. No, you're getting out of here. All right, Laszlo. You can prevent me from walking through that door. But you can't prevent me from going home and picking up the telephone. What do you want? Come to my cottage at three. We'll discuss it then. All right, please go. And be prompt. If you aren't, I just might pick up the telephone and have a talk with my dear friend, Ada. me to help you. He wanted me to find out about Laszlo Thaxton. I have something to tell you. I don't believe it. Ask Raxel. She wouldn't come here. She wouldn't have the audacity. She did. Raxel answered the door and she asked for Laszlo. What did she want? I don't know. You'll have to ask Laszlo that question. Ask what question? Why did Irene Hatter come here this morning? Answer the question, Laszlo. Why don't you leave us alone? I want to hear what you have to say. Oh, please, Court. Don't make things more difficult than they already are. All right. But don't let him talk his way out of this one. I'm waiting for your explanation. I don't blame you for being angry. I'm just as angry as you are. What do you mean? Irene did not... I didn't invite her here. She just arrived. Why? To see me. She, uh, She showed up demanding a showdown. And we had one. I told her to leave me alone. 
I thought you'd already said that to her. I said it again. In no uncertain terms, she won't be back. Don't say it's over if it isn't. It's over, Ada. Finished, dead and buried. Laszlo, if, if you're lying to me. I am not. I'll divorce you, you know. I mean it. Oh, now let's forget that word. Let's banish it from our vocabulary. Just say one sentence. That you haven't deceived me. I haven't deceived you. And I believe you. Good. And so our little drama is over. <laughs> Why the tears? <laughs> it's just such a relief. I was so afraid. Your overgrown adolescent son is always causing trouble. You mustn't listen to him. I won't. to help you. So we did it again. How could you be so gullible? I'm not. Laszlo told me the truth. Laszlo could tell you that the snow was black and you would believe him. That's enough. I haven't even started. I won't listen to another word. You just go to your room. And I won't be dismissed like that. I'm not a child. You're behaving like a child. Oh, I'm mad. I hate to see you make a fool of yourself, and that's exactly what you're doing. That's enough, Court. I'm not going to argue with you, and that's all. Oh, Mother, I... I said that's enough. Okay, okay. I suppose shouting at each other isn't going to get us anywhere. I'm sorry. That's better. Can I ask you one question? What is it? How well do you really know Laszlo? Oh, are we going to go all through that again? Well, you don't know where he comes from, his background, or what he did before he met you. Those things don't matter to me. Well, they should matter because they're very important. The same old argument. Are we going to go through our whole lives arguing? It looks like that. Because you want me to accept Laszlo and I can't, I won't. Are you forcing me to choose between you and Laszlo? Oh, has it come to that? Well, if it does, I will choose Laszlo. You? You would, wouldn't you? You have your whole life ahead of you, and I want to live mine. So you'd kick me out because of that? Hat. I love him. Yes? Court, this is Irene Hatter. What do you want? I want to see you. I have some... Uh, very interesting things to tell you about your stepfather. Will you come to my cottage? When? Immediately. And don't tell anyone, especially Laszlo. All right. What was that? Nothing important. Well, where are you going? Out.
Yes? Irene, this is Laszlo. I won't be able to make it at three after all. A sudden meeting has come up at the mill. You're lying, Laszlo. And if you don't keep your appointment, I'll tell Ada everything. Ada will take my word, not yours. I have other ways, Laszlo. Influential friends at the mill. I'll expose your part in the coven. Very well, Irene. You win this time. I'll be there at three. Imagine what you want to talk to me about. I've just had a long talk with your mother. Have you? Ever since we married, you've been trying to cause trouble between us. Oh, suppose I have. It's got to stop one way or another. Yes, it must. You seem very agreeable. Yes, I'm in a very agreeable mood. What's going on in that devious mind of yours? Nothing, Laszlo. I'm only agreeing with what you're saying, that's all. If she has to choose between us, she'll choose me. I know, she's already told me that. You'd better accept it. I have. Do you mean that? Yes, I mean it. Oh, Mother. We were just talking. Laszlo and I understand each other perfectly. I hope we do. Oh, yes, we do. What time is it, Mother? It's uh, about 2.45. Why? Oh, I was just wondering. Is there anything else you want to talk to me about, Laszlo? No. I must go down to the office for a little while, my dear. Oh, but this is your day off. Yes, I know, but uh, I have some papers to sign. I won't be long. Well, I'm glad you and Laszlo weren't arguing anyway. I'm so tired of arguments. Sit down. Why? I want to ask you a question. Have you ever heard the name Sylvia Carlton? Sylvia? Sylvia Carlton. Have you ever heard her name? No. Well, you should have. She was Laszlo's wife. What? Yes, she was very wealthy, as I understand, and very old. When she died, it must have broken poor Laszlo's heart. She left him everything. Where did you hear that? And he had other consolations, too. There's a list of ladies that consoled in Laszlo that is very, very long. Annie Harrigan's on it. You remember Annie? She was the barmaid in the inn. Answer me, where did you hear these things? From a very reliable source. A very close friend of Laszlo's. Her name is Irene Hatter. Irene? Yes, I just came from her cottage. She knows quite a lot about Laszlo. More than he's told you, apparently. I don't believe it. You're lying to me. Go and ask her. She's quite willing to tell you. Laszlo's gone to his office. No, Mother. Laszlo is at his good friend, Irene's. Well, I'm here now. What do you want? Bye. So businesslike. You must want something. I want one thing. You. You know it's not possible right now. And later? 
Perhaps we'll work something out. We'll see. I liked our arrangement, didn't you? You know I did. I miss you. Irene. Kiss me. Don't worry. I sent for some groceries as the delivery boy. <laughs> <laughs> 